Hi, welcome to Beginner's Guide for Dusty Trip. So to open the doors, you left click and hold and then move your mouse left and right. And you can use F button on your keyboard to pick up items and you can use your scroll wheel to extend your arm. And let's go ahead and put this on the vehicle. So F2 place, you just have to go to the right place where the part goes on the car and then you'll see tank stances play F2 place. So we're gonna go ahead and place those wheels and for the front wheels there is a slight bug in the game so if you place the wheel you can see it goes like under the ground and you have to like pick it up and like attach it again and it's going to fix it so let's go ahead and do that so the last wheel is going to be somewhere out here and there we have it so let's go ahead and take that and we're going to go to the front left side and let's put it so it's going to again it might glitch oh it didn't and then we have the doors so let's go ahead and pick this one oh there's an extra wheel so let's go ahead and attach that here and to open the door again you hold left mouse button and then you can move your mouse left and right to open the doors so let's go ahead and put that in place oh it goes on the other side oops <laughs> i dropped it so let's go ahead and pick it up and we're going to place it here and uh, for the remaining doors uh, those are going to be in the basement so i'm just going to quickly get them and place them on the car also, when you're taking out these uh, doors, it might get stuck like that and you can rotate objects by holding right mouse button and then moving your mouse. So it's going to let you rotate and easily like get out of the places where it wouldn't move otherwise. So you can like do that or you can like just quickly rush through this area and it's going to also sort of fix it. And just like that. So we have our doors in place. Next, we have uh, the cover for our trunk and cover for the hood. So let's go ahead and place those. Whoops, I dropped it, so I need to hover, left click and hold and open it up because we're going to need an engine. So let's go ahead and pick that up and then we can go ahead and place that in the engine area. So I'm just going to quickly sort of press F and next we are going to need a radiator. Let's just take these lights first. So to turn on these lights, you left click with your mouse button while these lights are in your hand. And because these are glitched, you can turn them on from the inside of the car. So we have to pick them up like that. And there's our second light. So I'm going to quickly go ahead and place that. Again, if you want to rotate, hold right mouse button and rotate. And we're just going to place that. Let's close our trunk uh, hood. And here we have the front grill. Let's go ahead and place that. And uh, I think we need to, to pick up this sponge and it's gonna like get rid of the rust. So extend your arm with your mouse scroll wheel and then you have to hold left mouse button and quickly sort of move mouse left and right and just like that. And for the doors, you can find them on your way in different homes and stuff. And finally, we have our jerry can with gas. And to put this in, first left click and hold to open this outer uh, sort of case. And then you can press E to open the inner cap. And then you simply left click and hold and it's gonna fill in. And so it's gonna sort of fill and to check the remaining content, you just hover over the jerry can cap and it's gonna tell you how much more uh, gas you have in your jerry can. And you can also press Z button to attach jerry can to top of the vehicle. You can like attach different items to different sides of the car so that you can use them later. And again, I'm gonna rotate. Oops, what's happening, what's happening? Okay, there's some sort of bug. And you can also press control to sit down and like place these more easily. And there we go. So our car is almost ready. We just need the radiator. So I'm going to open the hood and let's quickly get it. So there we have it. And this is the final part. So we're going to go ahead and place. And you can see we need water for radiator. It's going to like run out and then the car is going to stop and we have to put water and there's oil in, in the engine. So let's go ahead and sit in and then we can click on this handbrake to move it down and then we press R to start our engine and there we go. So our car is now complete and we are on our way. Now before we go, I have a really cool glitch that I want to show you. So I'm going to open this door just slightly like that and make sure that the handbrake is down because then otherwise you wouldn't be able to remove it once you use the glitch. Open the trunk like that and then get a TV. So if you go into the home again, there's a TV. So pick it up and then go back to the car. Once you're here, you just need to carefully like move it inside the trunk area and don't let it go. Keep holding it and just look at the seat and press E. 
And the reason we sort of closed our door halfway is that so that it doesn't bump into something while we're driving. And the handbrake, uh, we already had it down because we couldn't, uh, we can't do it now because we're holding that item in our hand. And just like that, we don't need fuel or anything. We can just drive without engine, radiator, fuel, or anything like that. So you can either use this glitch or you can like prepare your car and go like that.